The drums of impending war beat ominously in our borders and the Indian Army prepares for the ruthless winter of Ladakh and the harsh landscape of Tawang. Supersonic aircrafts Rafale, SU-30 and MiG-29 get stationed along the border along with batteries of guided missiles. While the army keeps an eye on the border, the TV channels update us on the amazing abilities of these armaments. Little do we know that many of these weapons are not only inspired by the animal world, but some are just copied from certain animals. So today, I would speak on modern weapons that has been inspired by animals. Hi, I am Basak from Savannah Safari. That's S-A-V-A-N-A -A -A Safari. As a wildlife enthusiast, I speak and write on the wonders of Mother Nature. And I specifically undertake customized adventure tours to Kenya and Tanzania. That was a hummingbird drinking honey. In the wild, it feeds similarly on flower. Feeding, going back, hovering in the air, and then going for the next flower. During World War II, engineers across the world were desperately trying to develop an aircraft that can stay still in the air, move forward and backward, and also descend vertically. Some soon realized that the hovering hummingbird had all these qualities. So they designed the aircraft on the lines of a hummingbird and named it the helicopter. Subsequently, Dr. David Lentink of Stanford University designed helicopter blades by studying some 12 varieties of hummingbird. The well-known microcopter Black Hornet used by the British Army in Afghanistan was an outcome of this research. In later years, Sikorsky Aircraft, a leading producer of helicopter, imitated the structure of a dragonfly to design helicopters capable of carrying heavy artillery. In one instance, to perfect the design of the aircraft, the Dragonfly's maneuverability was studied in 2000 renderings in a computer. We hear that the lethal Indian cruise missile Brahmos has been placed along the border. Would you be surprised to know that cruise missile was conceived 80 years back by studying the character of homing pigeons? You may find it funny, but it's true. A cruise missile is guided precisely to its target by a computer implanted inside it. During World War II, USA started Project Pigeon seeking to use pigeons' natural guiding system to bomb Nazi Germany. Psychologist Kinner trained pigeons put inside missile to peck on the screen when the target was approached and finally seen by the pigeon. This would actually guide the missile to home in on the desired target. This successful project was abandoned after two years as the US authorities apprehended that the Germans 
may convert the pigeons to double agents and get allied cities bombed by them. However, in spite of this, today's guided missile still trace their origin to homing pigeons. Since World War I, man's best friend dog has been used in war. It has been used to perform host of duties like rescuing injured soldiers, laying communication lines, identifying hidden enemies, etc. What bothered the armies was the casualty of these dogs in battlefield and the difficulty in replacing them at short notice. To address this challenge, the US Army has now introduced robot dogs called Alpha Dog and they are inspired by the real life dog. Not only does it behave like a normal dog by guarding, taking command, following its master, but it also carries a load of 200 kgs and navigates independently over difficult terrain while sending pictures and information. A Rafal aircraft moving at supersonic speed and carrying lethal missiles is a formidable force in the air. Flown by well-trained Indian pilots, it's a major deterrent to both China and Pakistan. Would you be shocked if I tell you that these pilots would never have been able to fly these aircrafts had it not been for some baby giraffes? Though difficult to believe, this is true. Earth's gravitation pulls everything with a gravitational force G. In stark contrast, pilots flying supersonic aircrafts face a humongous downward pull eight times of gravitation that is 8G while maneuvering their aircraft. This causes blood in their brain to flow to their feet, rendering them unconscious or immobile, thereby causing accident. To prevent this, the pilots have to wear G-suits. This G-suit was developed by NASA scientists only after they accidentally observed a just-born baby giraffe. A baby giraffe is born six feet tall and when it stands up for the first time in its life, the blood from its brain rushes down to its feet causing exactly the same situation as the supersonic aircraft pilots face. The NASA scientists found a solution in the physiology of baby giraffes. And then they created the G-suit that our Rafal and MiG-29 pilots wear today. So we can say that if there were no baby giraffes on land, there would never have been supersonic aircrafts in the sky. Similarly, if the hummingbird or dragonfly did not fly, no helicopters would have flown. And there could be no cruise missile if there were no homing pigeons. So let us salute these friendly animals for ensuring that our unfriendly neighbors have sleepless nights. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and join me in this amazing journey where I bring you face to face with the cradle of civilization. Savannah Safari, your tryst with adventure.